A Montana bill that would restrict transgender children from receiving gender-affirming care is headed to the governor's desk for final approval, and it's expected to pass. MTN's Elizabeth Fitz joins us now. And Elizabeth, what would this mean for transgender youth here in Bozeman? Well, Donna, this is going to have implications that extend far beyond transgender kids here. It would affect health care providers and other mental health professionals, and some believe a bill like this may actually push physicians away from practicing in Montana. As a person who's worked in nonprofit medical health care for 20 years and worked through the session, I have never seen more medical providers show up to oppose a bill from pediatrics, endocrinologists, uh, mental health care providers, all the way to emergency room doctors. Bridger Care, a nonprofit in Bozeman, offers gender affirming health care to transgender adults. They strongly oppose Senate Bill 99, which passed the Montana State Senate in a 32 to 17 vote on Wednesday. Let's be clear. We're not saying don't transition. We're simply saying wait until you're 18. Supporters of the bill concerned about the lasting effects. Children live under the guardianship of adults precisely because they lack the maturity, prudence, and experience to make safe, responsible decisions for themselves. We have serious concerns that youth will not get the care that they need and uh, their risk of suicide will increase. Um, and then we just have concerns in general of government insertion into private decisions between a medical provider, a parent, and a young person. If Governor Greg Gianforte signs off on the bill, transgender youth across the state who have been diagnosed with body dysmorphia would no longer be able to access puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, or other gender-affirming treatments. There's copious amounts of research to show that helping people transition into their true gender relieves depression, anxiety, and people are just overall more healthy. Another concern from those against the bill, the amount of out-of-state supporters that have testified before Montana lawmakers arguing that this legislation will protect Montana youth. Groups like Do No Harm, Mass Resistance, and Family Policy Alliance, a Christian lobbyist group. This bill is not representative of Montanans. This bill is an agenda that's happening outside of Montana. SB 99 includes new definitions for words like male, female, and gender. Healthcare providers who violate the terms of the bill could face a mandatory one-year license suspension. I'm queer and I grew up queer and I didn't know that I was because there was no representation. Pride House, located in Bozeman, is one of only three nonprofits statewide that provides a safe and supportive space for LGBTQ kids. It wasn't until I made it to college that I saw other people like me that I realized that it's just needed. So Vice President John Jacobs helped to start the group last summer. Pride House now serves roughly 70 kids from surrounding communities, and they hope to reach more, especially with this latest legislation. Elizabeth Fitz, MTN News.